Hi guys, I am Alex, Legacy Imported Developer, and in this video I will show you how to make a display walk in your Legacy Cockpit. I will use Legacy Importer version 0.2, Notepad++, Model Character X development version 1.5, and a generic head-up display FSX mod made by Datemar Lowlight. Three examples will be reviewed. Airbus Military A400M, Tok McDonnell Douglas FA18 Hornet, and Grumman F14D Tomcat. Also special case when you want to insert hard script manually without panel conversion. We have 15 as example. First step you should do is import FSX aircraft into Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you did already, just load imported aircraft and follow instructions. A400 already has a generic HUD installed, so only thing you need to do is apply panels conversion. Extract cap files, then select all conversion options and press import button. You can see that convert gouges files uh, was stored in legacy cockpit instruments folder. Original files stays in the panel folder of aircraft. Now let's check how it looks in the game. Hard appear properly, but it does not fit glass area. To fix that, open original panel config file inside of panel folder, find the v cockpit section where HUD is configured. I have pilot and copilot panels. And add extra values to their parameters. Uh, number 1, comma and scale modifier. Let's make it 1.5. Be sure that you are editing v cockpit section, not window. Import panel again. Apply resync in flight simulator to see the difference. Import F6 aircraft, load it if it already imported. Generic hat not included here, so we should install it manually. I will apply critical fixes and panel conversion. Open aircraft panel folder. Then uh, generic HUD mod archive and extract HUD folder into aircraft panel directory. Then open original panel config file and find where HUD parameters are. In this case, HUD LAN appear only in Windows section. But I know that Gouge 03 with uh, no Skylines label at the end is what I need. Copy it and uh, comment out original one just in case. Then set folder name as first part of Gouge name and XML file name as second part. Coordinate stays the same, uh, file saved. Panel conversion applied. 
and we are ready for in-game tests. You can see two problems here. HUD does not cover the glass and it barely visible. We can fix size problems same way as before. Just add scale modifier to HUD gauge line uh, of original config file, save it, convert gauges again and resync the game. To increase brightness of the symbology, you can use Model Converter X. Open Model Converter, import interior model. Move camera inside of the cockpit. Open Materials list. Check highlight selected and the list for materials to find hard glass texture. It is uh, the first one in my case. Scroll parameters until you see destination blend and set it as inf source alpha. Close materials, press export object button, ensure that file tip is set as uh, v6mdl and save the file. Switch back to the game and apply resync. You can notice some blur effect of HUD symbology because of the anti-aliasing, so if you want to fix it, you can switch anti-aliasing option in uh, game settings. Also you can see that this aircraft HUD does not have parallax effect. Import FSX aircraft. Open Generic HUD Installer Archive, Unpack GenHUD Folder in the Panel Directory. And apply Available Panel Conversion Options. Open Original Panel Config File. Find the Cockpit section with HUD Gouge Line. Make copy of it and change gauge name. First part is GenHUD folder name. Second is XML file that inside of this folder. You can see a lot of problems here. Hard no scale properly, it is barely visible. Symbology visible even outside of wrong glass. Hard corner cast shadow on the ground. Last two issues possible to fix in model editor, but it is complicated, so I will try to make additional video next time. Scale and visibility problems can be sorted the same way as in previous part.
open panel config file and add extra values to the hard line. Plus one will be scale modifier. In legacy importer run panels conversion. To fix transparency problem, make backup of interior model on model tab. Then open interior MDL file in model converter. Move camera close to the foreign glass texture. As you can see in this aircraft had glass placed on significant distance from the cockpit to simulate parallax effect. But it does not work well in Microsoft Flight Simulator, as we have seen before. Open materials window, check how light selected option. Find out which texture is hard glass and change the destination blend value to inf source alpha. Close materials window, press import button and save file as fs6mdl into the model folder of your aircraft. Switch to the game, resync aircraft and check out the result. Last case will be different. If you don't want to apply conversion to aircraft panels for some reason. Maybe some gouges can control the Unix or you just don't like legacy importer. So first of all you will need to perform basic import process explained before. Airbus A400 is a good choice as it includes a HUD model already. Legacy importer no longer needed after that, all change will be applied in text editor. After gouges conversion, we will need to open generated panel config file of A400 uh, airplane, where you will find proper gouge core. And panel config of the aircraft, which you are trying to update. In my case, it will be already imported F15. Find out which panel section contain HUD strings, this section will be removed. Copy HUD gouge lines from converted config file and insert it under original one. You need to copy ID number, size values, texture name and coordinates. You can delete all section or comment it out using semicolon symbol. Don't forget to save the file and start the game. HUD is too small, you can fix it by changing gauge parameter. Last time addition values was added to the gouge string, but it can be loaded only by conversion script. This time you should change size in millimeters value. Decrease it twice and gouge will be increased two times. Save file and resync aircraft in the game. You can see it has same problems with parallax simulation object like in the previous example.
Now you have two different ways how to install converted instruments in the legacy cockpit. Same way can be used for any other digital or analog couch installation. Thanks for watching, have a good day.